Hello, this is Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World with a flipped math learning video. Our learning goal for this video is I can graph input and output results to draw conclusions. So in this video, we will be using input output tables to graph some functions and compare the results. So let's look at our first example here. Sally gets paid $9 per hour to work at a bookstore. She works for five hours. Billy works at the movie theater and makes $8 per hour. He works for seven hours. Who makes the most spending money at their job? So let's go ahead and call Sally line A. So Sally works for five hours. Let's make hours our X and go ahead and get our table started. There's the five hours. So Sally makes $9 per hour. So if we take nine, multiply it by the hours, it's going to equal Y or the amount that she made. So nine times one is nine. Our ordered pair would be one, nine. Nine times two is 18. So for two hours, she makes $18. Nine times three is 27. So for three hours, she makes $27. Nine times four is 36. So 4 comma 36 and 9 times 5 is 45 so 5 comma 45. There is Sally's work history. We now have, I'm going to label this Sally and label this Billy. Okay, so for Billy, he works for seven hours. And for seven hours, he makes $8 per hour. So $8 times X, the hours worked, equals Y, or the total amount he makes. So one times eight is eight. 2 times 8 is 16, 3 times 8 is 24, 4 times 8 is 32, 5 times 8 is 40, 6 times 8 is 48, And 7 times 8 is 56. Okay, so we can go ahead and plot our points. For Sally, we're going to use dots as our points. We go over 1, up 9, and this graph scale is not going to cut our answers, are we? So let's go ahead and modify this 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Now, did we use an appropriate scale? Well, this would be 50, 55, and 60. We cover all of our graph. It's pretty close to the top. So we go over 1, up 9. That's going to be just before the 10. Over 2, up 18. A little less than 20. Over 3, up 27. 
right about there. Over 4, up 36. And over 5, up 45. So if we go ahead and draw this line, connecting our points, that would be Sally's line. I'm going to go to a little bit thinner here so I can make X's for Billy's line. Over 1, up 8. And let's go ahead and change the color for Billy. That will help us see the difference. 2, up 16. 3, up 24. Over 4 up 32 over 5 up 40 over 6 would be 48 and over 7 would be up 56 So we go ahead and draw Billy's line straight as we can. And now we can look at the difference between Sally's wages and Billy's wages. So when we look and compare, we can see that Billy makes less than Sally because his line is always under Sally's line. And Billy is working two additional hours that Sally did not need to work. So Sally earns $45 in five hours, whereas Billy earns five or $40 in the same five hours. So Sally earns $5 more than Billy after five hours of work. Okay, so we'll come back and look at one additional example before you move on and do your own. Okay, so in this example, Missy is walking as slow as she can to get to the gym. She travels at two miles per hour. How long will it take her to travel the eight miles to the gym? Okay, so let's look at Missy. She's traveling two miles per hour. We want to know how long, so we're going to label that X and Y. So how long? So X is going to be our hours, so at zero hours, she travels zero miles. After one hour, she's traveled two miles. After two hours, she's traveled four. After three hours, she has traveled six. After four hours, she's traveled two miles per hour. So if our hour is x times 2 equals y is our formula here. So 4 times 2 is 8. After 5 hours, she's gone 10 miles. So let's look at our coordinates. Remember, it's important to know that in 0 hours, she hasn't traveled yet that she has to complete that first hour to get the two miles in. So after two hours, she's traveled four. After three hours, she's traveled six. Four hours, she's traveled eight. And five hours, she's traveled 10. So this is gonna be a single line graph looking at Missy's travel. So this Across the bottom is going to be hours. Up the side is going to be distance. Okay. 
Okay. So, and we're going to put in parentheses miles because it's always important to tell how you're measuring this. We'll call our graph Missy's trip to the gym. So, after zero hours, she's traveled zero miles. One hour, she's traveled two miles. Two hours, she's traveled four miles. Three hours, she's traveled six. Four hours, she's traveled eight. Five hours, she's traveled ten. So if we go ahead and collect, draw our line here. Um, Our line kind of curved there at the end. We can fix that. So let's look. We can predict that after six hours, she should have traveled 12 miles. Seven hours, she should have traveled 14. So our line really should have gone up like this. And more along that path rather than this path over here. Okay, so let's look at our answer to this. Missy traveled the eight miles to the gym in eight miles, four hours. There we go. So I hope that this video has helped you to see how to use these in and out tables and our XY charts is another name for them to go ahead and graph our learning to make predictions about the future.